All right, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's been what months since I've shown anything off or found anything in FIA. It's because I haven't played, um, but I found a few new things coming back to the game the past couple of days. Uh, first thing I found is um, normally, you know, for the tree trunk crystal, we jump down here, we go to the back side, we jump up onto the top, run to the front, drop in, grab the crystal, drop out, and move on. What I found was that instead you can actually get on this tree here and um, you will get a ledge grab here and then what you want to do is just kind of run along up top here you can do this all in one motion I haven't fully practiced yet but you can get up top here and then you can get on the tree trunk from there uh, you could probably jump earlier I went a bit far on it but that'll let you get to the crystal and if you do that all in one motion you're probably gonna save a few seconds because it's a little bit longer doing it the older way you know, running up, up underneath, going up to here, and then getting up. And if you mess it up, I guess you could probably still just do the old method by losing maybe a second or two, depending on how fast you get onto that trunk. And it may not be that detrimental or cause you to want to, like, reset the entire run over it, depending on how long you take. Um, I guess I'll put this all in one video, because the next part's coming literally right up. And I finally have discovered... The infamous baby dare skip that we've been looking for really since the speedrun has started at least for me uh, looking at this game and looking for skips the very first skip I found was actually the tree jump to the first platform and I was never able to figure out how to get to the second up on the second platform successfully well now I finally figured it out so what you're gonna do is instead of going into pair with the baby dare on the left I'll just get the stupid map out of the way. You're going to come up here and do the tree leaf jump. Get up onto the platform here. And now what you're going to do is I you're going to jump, come over to this rock. And what you're going to do, and if you have any questions, let me know. But basically, you're going to jump up here. And you're going to get a double jump. And then you're going to get a ledge grab. And then you're going to be able to get right up onto here. And that will allow you to skip baby deer. A um, couple things to note on the skip is you want to have your angling kind of at the slope here so don't aim like directly forward or anything you, you can kind of have the camera like this you can have it a little bit to the right more um, but what you want to what you're basically trying to do is you're you're going to jump up and then what you're going to do is as you kind of fall again you're going to get like a double jump uh, so you're going to jump up kind of let Fia fall down a bit again kind of like maybe a quarter you know of, of your height so you jump up fall again press jump and then you're gonna hold your control stick kind of hard right after you press jump and then you're gonna get up there I didn't even need a ledge grab oh this is the first time I actually did it without getting a ledge grab I literally just got up so let jump let let go jump let Fia fall down just a little bit like 25% of the way 20% of the way back down press jump again you will get a second boost and it'll let you jump up over onto this platform and get right up to the middle and that'll completely bypass baby deer pairing um, realistically you're hitting this platform I want to say at, at about two between two minutes and 210 depending on how optimal and how, how good your movement is I looked at like I equals times and I think he's generally hitting this platform at about two minutes flat 159 ish and I looked at his time jumping off the platform there, going into pair of the baby deer and coming back to the flower to kind of get, get in a rough idea of the timing. And it looks like it's about a 30 second commitment. So you're going to save somewhere in the range of about 25 to 30 seconds doing this, my guess, somewhere in that ballpark um, by skipping baby deer pairing. And then, of course, you just proceed to the middle and continue on with whatever runner category you're doing. And, you know, do all the regular stuff from here, getting the crystals, etc. All right. Uh, if I find anything else, I'll let you guys know. All right. Thanks.